What's going on people of the internet? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got myself a new MagSafe wallet. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well and you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Today, I got myself a new MagSafe wallet and this here is the Andar MagSafe wallet. Guys, if you're new here, you're just kind of passing by through my channel, welcome. My name is Royce Lee, and one thing for sure I want to share with you guys is that I love EDC. EDC, or everyday carry, is something that I'm truly passionate about. I really just love that type of stuff. Products that pretty much make your life a little bit easier. Products that kind of make your life a little bit more, I guess a little more manageable. And another thing, I love products that just make your life a little bit more prepared, especially for those dicey situations. On that note, Andor actually sent me this actual MagSafe wallet to review, and I have a lot of thoughts on this. So without further ado, let's get started this video. As I mentioned before, I love EDC. And as someone who loves EDC as much as I do, I am definitely looking for products that are definitely on the higher end of materials and uses for the actual product itself. You know, I'm definitely not looking for products that's, you know, really meant for like a one-time use type of deal. I think those products has like those times and places for those situations. But for my specific arsenal of everyday carry type of gear, you know, I'm not really looking for that type of stuff. I'm looking for things that are really built to last, things that are really grow with me over time and really just, you know, makes it unique for every time I use it specifically for what I do in my everyday purposes. So that's kind of pretty much what I'm kind of looking for in a product. And I think Andar is definitely hitting the marks for that specific thing. This here is called the Mag, and this is a 100% full grain oil wax leather. Meaning this leather, as you kind of use it over time, you're gonna get your greases and dirt on this thing. You know, your everyday type of use for this specific wallet, especially this type of leather, it'll really patina, it'll really grow with you specifically, the colorization will change the, as it wears out and everything. It's gonna be pretty much unique to basically how you use your wallet. That's awesome. You know, I have a lot of wallets. Specifically, my everyday wallet is this one, and it's been patining pretty, pretty well for the, for, as you can kind of see. Lots of like indentations everywhere, lots of dents, lots of scratches, and that's pretty much, I'm pretty excited for this specifically. I already have like a small squeak right here if you can kind of see it. You know, as you kind of use leather products, especially high-end products like these, you know, you'll really start to see, you know, how it actually morphs to how you use it. So I'm pretty pumped as I kind of use this thing, you know, I can't wait to see what this is going to be in store as I use it for many months or even more for a couple of years. You know, Andar, keep making what you're doing because these types of products is definitely what I'm looking for. Now that we actually assess the actual product quality of this actual wallet, one thing for sure I really want to test is the actual like practicality of this wallet itself. I love this wallet so, so much nowadays. You know, one thing about this that I really love is the fact that this is a very minimal wallet. When I say this is a very minimal wallet, I'm not exaggerating. This is like the minimal of minimum wallets you could probably find on the market. This is only hold actually one to two cards. I definitely know what you're thinking because these are probably the same thoughts that I probably had when I actually held this wallet in my hands. And that's no way, no chance, that's impossible. Honestly, I totally agree. It's been quite tough for me to actually use this wallet on the practicality basis every single day wherever I go. I literally have my wallet right here. This wallet has been using every single time also five to seven cars and some cash. This is pretty much my ideal wallet every single time wherever I go. You know, there are times when I don't really want to carry this wallet. I just want to carry one to three cards. You know, I don't really need to bring my whole entire world of cards into my pockets. Sometimes I just want to do a grab and go type of deal. And that's where these MagSafe wallets come into play so, so much. The practicality of having a few cards on you is pretty much what I'm looking for. So let me just kind of compare these two and the practicality and why I love this over the Apple one. Just kind of what I've been using for so far, I've been using this for probably three years now. The Apple wallet, it's been pretty practical for me, holds like up to three cards. And it first came out when I had the first like iPhone 12 Pro. So that was kind of nice. You know, let me show you kind of like what this kind of looks like, especially since like, you know, what I don't like about this as well. First things foremost, you put three cards in and it fits pretty snug. Easeability, you know, it doesn't come out. It's very snug. You do the Royce test and it ain't coming out. The ease of use of this, you know, you can actually pull out all the cards pretty well from the back. That's kind of nice. You can kind of just push it up like so, and it comes out very, very easily. Now, the one thing I don't like about this specific thing is that if you put less than three cards, let me try this. I just took out a card. You do the Royce test. It kind of, it's pretty snug in there as you can see. But if you do like, let's just say you drop this for some odd reason really hard. 
There you go. Your cards are gone. That kind of sucks in my personal opinion. I'm not about that. You know, sometimes I only need two specifically because when I'm out and about going to the gym, I only need like my license and like one credit card just because, you know, sometimes I get hungry or sometimes I need to go for a quick grocery run. So this is like not the most ideal all the time. And it kind of just, it's just the burden, the fact of like, oh my gosh, I have to get another card when I don't really need it. That being said, let's move on to the Andar wallet. So this wallet, like I said before, it can only hold up to two cards. So let's just show you how that looks when it's filled. All right, so now that it's filled, as you can kind of see, it's a very like snug fit. You know, you kind of do the whole Royce test. This thing is really in there. You have to kind of push it pretty hard to actually put your cards in as well. So you definitely know your cards ain't going anywhere. What I kind of want to see is that, you know, kind of a true comparison between the Apple and this. Can the cards hold if you have less than the maximum amount? All right, so I just took out my license and the one thing's for sure, I only have one credit card as you can tell. Let's try and take this out just by the, the same test. I'm honestly just going at this. It doesn't, there's no, there's no signs of it actually moving at all. That's awesome. I don't really see myself actually using only one card ever in my life just to kind of hold it. Just maybe my license at, at most, I guess. But realistically, I think I would always have a credit card on me and my license. So if you're looking for something like that, you only need to carry one to two cards, especially if you're like someone who uses your phone as like the payment method. This is probably the best one if you have an Apple specific product. So I think that's pretty awesome. Now, one thing's for sure, if you compare these two specifically, I think one thing that I kind of don't like about this now is the fact that, you know, as you kind of use this one, you can kind of have this whole big hole and push all your cards outwards. One thing about this is you kind of push this out. You really had to like snug your thumb inside and push it up with your fingernails or something. And then you could take the card out. I think that's just a small little kind of frustration that I have. Maybe make this a little bit bigger and are, or maybe put it in the middle, but that's just like a small thing that I feel like you guys can adjust in the future. But if you kind of compare the two, in my personal opinion, I've used this for many years and I've only used this for a couple of days. And already, you know, as I'm kind of shifting into using this product, I'm grabbing this way more often than I'm grabbing this. And that's, I think speaks a lot of levels. This has been using for over three years. This is like maybe three, four days, and I'm loving this so much more. So Andar, you're definitely on the right track. This is a great minimal wallet and especially the practicality is definitely hitting the marker. All right guys, so if you're into this type of stuff, you like high-end products, you like leather, you like EDC, you like bags, you like pretty much techie things as well, Andar is a great place to look. So feel free to use the link down below. Use the code FANTHEFLAME, you get a 15% discount on the whole entire site. So I'll hopefully enjoy that. You they have some great stuff. I'm planning on getting myself probably like a bag there and some other leather products. So I'm super pumped and hopefully, I hope you can get something really nice. But without further ado, you know, if you're into this type of stuff, you like my product reviews and you like this type of video i really appreciate it give it a thumbs up you know i'd really appreciate it if you kind of help me with this whole youtube algorithm and this whole youtube channel comment down below guys i love to hear your voice you know if you have any suggestions you got any feedback about this wallet would you plan on using this and if so you know what would you kind of think if you kind of would use it for your everyday day type of basis or maybe you know what i just kind of do as well that run and gun type of shoots i'd love to hear your voice comment down below so if you're into this type of stuff, you like these type of product reviews, I love for you to be part of the adventures. Join me along for the ride, join me in my life. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and God bless. Peace. Hmm, it's definitely not gonna come out, huh? Really trying to force it out, it's not doing it. Well, Andar, you did a great job. Peace.